my name is Christine. Hi, I'm Natalie. And we're here to talk about how my clinicals went. How do you think mommy's clinicals went? Do you think they went good? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Hi, my name is Christine Red, and this is day one of my video blog. Uh, today in my clinicals, I talked to the occupational therapist who is in charge of our, um, yeah, of our stay at at, at EDR or SBA Doina uh, Rehabilitation. Um, I talked to her about my goal, my learning goal, and about um some areas that I need to improve on a personal level. Um, I talked about um, being better at when it came to the expectations that my surroundings put on me and the expectations that I put on myself. Um, so we had a meeting uh, where I asked her about what her expectations were for us as students. Um, we didn't get very much of like we got a very vague answer um and i think that is partially because i wasn't good enough at defining um what answer i wanted from her and, and what i wanted to hear like um what she expects from students uh, who are on their first year today i interviewed um a patient at edr um, and my clinical supervisor uh, was there to interview. Um, I personally felt that the interview went well in the beginning um, when I uh, introduced myself and um, uh, asked the primary questions which I used in order to become familiar with the patient. Um, that went well. Um, but then I felt that uh, slowly the interview um, dissolved and um, <clears throat> there was a, a little bit of an awkward silence um, where I then picked up the interview again by asking into something the patient had, na um, had mentioned earlier. Um, and once I could see that I wasn't going to get any more information from the patient, I decided to end the interview even though I hadn't um <clears throat> received the information that I needed. Hi, my name is Christine Red and today I would like to talk about the evaluating meeting that I had with my clinical supervisor. In general, I need to work on my naturalistic observation skills. It was also brought to my attention that I need to be better at differentiating between the role of a home health care aide and occupational therapist when it comes to the client. My clinical supervisor also mentioned that I need to be more aware of my surroundings and know when small talk is appropriate. She also believes that my role as an occupational therapist will come naturally as soon as I learn to be la y masil. The clinical supervisor also mentioned that I need to dare to adopt the role of an occupational therapist. I am told that I need to be calmer and not want to do everything all at once. She ends the conversation by repeating that I need to simply be la y masil, and that once I do, that my role as an occupational therapist will come. But what does it mean to be la y masil? I have asked a number of people and have come to the following conclusion. At be la y masil is a very Danish phrase which simply means to trust yourself and your capabilities. Know who you are as a person and what your limitations are. I would try to get to know myself better and continue to find better ways to cope with my character flaws so that I can become the best occupational therapist that I'm capable of becoming. Personal growth is important no matter who you are and you can't always have your cake and eat it too. Two, three, we're ready. Hi, my name is Christine. Hi, I'm Spoon. 